Are you Dragwax is back and welcome to another video and today guys I want to show you my new Bloodhound Katana build. In this build we are playing two blood based katanas together with the Bloodhound step skill and I can tell you guys this build here is so much fun for PvP. In PvE I would still use the Moonray build, I put the link also in the video description below. Thanks for the support under the Moonray build video. And guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I would say we take now a look into this blood build. Let's start with the equipment that we are using here, and I'm on a new character level 67. For me, it's easier to make different characters for the different builds, because the items for respecking are limited. In this build, we are playing with two katanas, I'm going here with two nagakibas. You also can play with one nagakiba and one uchi katana. This is also working because normally per playthrough you only can get one nagakiba from the Yura questline. So you need to be in a new game plus or a friend trades his nagakiba with you. In our main hand, we are playing with the Bloodhound Step Ash of War. You should definitely check that we have it equipped here. This skill is incredible. It only costs 5 FP, we can spam it, it's an insane dodge. In our left hand, we are playing with Seppuku. This is a blood skill, we train some health from ourselves to buff our weapon, to increase our damage done, and we also buff the blood loss buildup. Then you should check when you equip the Ashes of War that you choose blood. For example, I have here two blood Nagakibas. On Seppuku, you have it already because it's a blood skill. For the Bloodhound step, you need the extra dark red blade. When you have it, then you can also equip blood when you choose the Bloodhound step. This is very important because with the blood weapons you buff the blood loss buildup and the weapon starts scaling with arcane. Arcane is not the best damage modifier, as you can see there the attack power is not so high, but arcane buffs the blood loss buildup. The armor that I'm using is not so important, it's more fashion swords for me. If you want to use something useful then you can choose for example this hat here for extra endurance or so, choose whatever you like. More important are the talismans that I'm using, for example Radagant Sorcery gives us a plus 5 on Rigor, Endurance, Strength and Dex. You guys can see it already, I have normally only 13 points into Strength. For the Nagakiba we need 18, so I'm saving with this item 5 points that I can put in Rigor or Dex for example. With the Sorcery Equip we take also a bit more damage but this is completely okay and the next Talisman here is a must have, the Lord of Blood's Exultation. Blood loss in vicinity increases attack power. This is a must have, after our blood burst, the enemy is still under the blood effect and when we hit him then we deal more damage. So we have an increased damage after our burst and this is for me also a must have in this build. The next talisman is the Urtree's favor for more maximum HP, stamina and equipment load. And the last talisman that I'm using here is a free slot, here you can choose whatever you like. I have in the moment the item for 5 points more decks, you can also equip the item for more Maximum HP, maximum stamina, choose whatever you like here. Now we take a look into the attribute points. I'm in the moment on level 67 and I have 40 points into Rigor for more maximum health. 15 points in mind, we don't need so much FP. The skills that we are using are very cheap. 20 points in Endurance. On a higher level I would go up to 30 definitely. 18 points into Strength to equip the Naga Keepers. Then I have 39 points into Dex for the damage scaling and 22 points in Arcane for the blood loss buildup. Okay guys, these are the attribute points that I'm using. This is the build that I'm using. If you still have questions, then feel free to ask me in the comments below. We see us in the next video. Have a nice day and bye bye. Don't waste it, get my path, I just embrace it
Set doesn't come at Christmas, but this is never just given. I was working, I was living so hard. No, I did it. You're 700k on the Spotify, you're stripping. It's crazy. Face. So sad, all the past, and I guess there is a way that you can all 